All right, what is going on, everybody? So the Team Go Rocket Takeover week is officially here. So starting today, when I upload this video, going until Monday, August 12th at 11.59 p.m. local time. This is probably one of my favorite events is when we have a Team Go Rocket event. However, this time around, the Pokemon that you can get really aren't the best. So I'm going to get into what you can get from this event. So starting off, we have Shadow Cresselia. So this is going to be by battling Giovanni, the Pokemon that you can catch. We most recently had Shadow Groudon. A lot of us were hoping it was going to be Shadow Rayquaza, but because the Rayquaza, maybe the Mega Rayquaza makeup event that we just had last weekend, that could be why they decided to skip Rayquaza. It would have been nice still to have Shadow Rayquaza, to be honest, but Shadow Cresselia is good for PvP. A lot of people like it for that. So, I mean, that's going to be there. So in order to get that, you have to battle Giovanni. Now, how do you battle Giovanni? You have to have a super rocket radar. So you might have one saved. Or there's a special research that you're going to be able to do during this event that will reward you a super rocket radar at the end. And you can keep this rocket radar. You don't have to use it. Let's say maybe you don't really care for Shadow Cresselia. That's fine. You could just save the super rocket radar for the next rotation. And whatever the next Shadow Pokemon is from defeating Giovanni, you could use it on that and maybe get two of them if you really want to. Or maybe just wait further down the line. Up to you. So in raids, we're going to have a raid weekend from August 10th on Saturday to Sunday, August 11th. So Shadow Lugia is going to appear in Shadow Raids. So this is going to be a five-star raid, and you cannot remote raid for this, so you can't invite anyone in this, unfortunately. So make sure you have those Purified Gems ready. Those do make a huge difference in taking down Shadow Raids. Maybe try to get a meetup going on Campfire or going to Discord or wherever you go for your groups to find people to raid with because you definitely want to have people to do this raid with. It also can be shiny, so you can get that shiny Shadow Lugia during this event. During this event as well, we're going to have increased spawns of Team Go Rocket at Pokestops as well as Balloons. My favorite thing about this event is you can use a Charge TM to help a Shadow Pokemon forget the Charge Attack frustration. So if you're like me, you have a decent amount of Shadow Pokemon and you wait for these events to use those Charge TMs. So I have a bunch of Charge TMs saved up, so I can forget this move frustration without spending the 100 candy and the 100,000 stardust to add a whole new move. Or you can still add a new move, but you can replace frustration and have two good moves on that Pokemon. Up to you. Luckily, I already added a new move for my Shadow Mewtwo, so I'm finally going to forget that frustration move and give it something else, so that's going to be nice to do. There are also new Shadow Pokemon that you can get from Team Go Rocket Grunts as well as their leaders. So Team Go Rocket Grunts can now reward either Shadow Timber, Shadow Tortuga, as well as Shadow Archon. So those have all been added to the Shadow Loot Pool from the Team Go Rocket Grunts. Now from the leaders, from Rocket Leader Cliff, you can get a Shiny Shadow Laleep. From Sierra, you can get a Shiny Shadow Carvana, as well as Arlo, you can get a Shiny Shadow Anorith. Now it's not guaranteed to be Shiny, obviously. Also on raids, so in one-star raids, we have Shadow Mareep, Shadow Wooper, Shadow Cranidos, and Shadow Shieldon. In three-star raids, we're going to have Shadow Nuzleaf, Shadow Manetric, as well as Shadow Vibrava. Shadow Cranidos is definitely a must-have. The Sh uh, Shadow Rampardos is one of the best attacking Pokemon for raids in the game. So you definitely want to get that Shadow Cranidos. I know I'm definitely going to try to get a couple extras from these one-star raids, so I'm looking forward to that. We also have the Event Field Research Task Awards during this. We can get some Mystery Components, Charge TMs, as well as Fast TMs. There's some bundles that you can buy as well during this event. But that's pretty much it on this event so more notable shadow cranidos from this in my opinion is going to be my number one out of those raids we have the three different shadow pokemon that you can get from team go rocket grunts that are being added on top of the other ones that you can get already we have the team go rocket leader shadow pokemon that you can get which once again i'm not that excited about and then we have shadow Cresselia and the shadow lugia raid weekend this weekend so I'm probably going to make a vlog on the Shadow Lugia stuff. That is it for the Team Go Rocket event. Let me know if you're excited for this. Are you going to be playing starting today, going into the weekend? Are you going to do the Shadow Lugia raids? Let me know in the comments down below what you think on this. Make sure you're subscribed. We're getting close to 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Appreciate you all watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Hoppers.